Catchers. This is Teacher Rain and this is my first tutorial so far and I hope supportahan ninyo and I just wanna share with you guys yung mga konti kong kaalaman sa paggawa ng mga educational materials like interactive PowerPoint games na pwedeng makatulong sa ating pagtuturo lalo na ngayong new normal. So for today, I will be showing you how to create this PowerPoint game which is a pick a door. So, yung pick a door guys is a simple PowerPoint game wherein the learner will choose a door that they like and when you click that door, it will open and show them a question. So, maganda siyang gamitin as your motivation or review or presentation of the lesson and depende kung saan yung gusto gamitin. So, if you want to know how I create this PowerPoint game, just keep on watching. So let's start. Okay, so let's open our PowerPoint. Blank presentation. Okay, so tanggain na natin yung mga contents na ito sa first slide natin. Then, maglagay tayo ng background. So right click and click format background. Then select picture and then insert from a file. Okay, then hanapin natin yung background na gusto natin ilagay. So, meron akong nakaready dito. And then, apply to all. Okay. So, press na natin yan. So, second step is to put our doors. So, meron akong doors dito. I have five. Select lang natin. Blue, green, pink, red and the violet so copy lang natin siya and then paste natin dito sa slide natin ok so i-arrange lang natin I have 5 so green one ok the next is yung blue and tignan natin kung magkakasaysay and the pink one and lastly yung red color red okay, size lang natin okay, so kung okay na sa inyo to center lang natin okay, so next is to put text pick the door so, punta tayo sa insert and then text box tayo then let's type pick a door okay and then, kaitan natin yung size niya and let's have a fun style I think mas maganda yung wavy wavy okay, then click enter size natin. So, gusto natin size ng text. Okay. So, I think okay na to. Hold kaya natin. Okay. So, yan. Next step is to change the colors. Mas magandang um, pwede natin per letter para mas uh, appealing siya sa eyes. So, pili lang kayo kung anong gusto nyo. Then orange, so blue, and then let's have uh, violet, and then yellow. Papa, let's go for a darker blue. brighter green then tie some more colors brighter green ito na lang ok then the last one tie mo medyo maganda orange ok so then let's have a text outline that's a shape format then 
text outline but not in your way okay four and a half okay so maybe we can continue to the text size yeah but if not we shall increase to 80 okay so okay now at the first slide okay next step is gawa na ta gawin na natin yung slide para sa mga naka-open na doors so click enter maglagay tayo ng Slide number two, tanggal ni lagi yang mana? Tanggal ni mana? Okay, all in all, ni anta yang total of six slides. So let's move on to the second slide. Kapi lang nanti, so yang mau nang door in color green, so kuni nanti yang nak open nang green. same process lang po yun magkabi base lang tayo ng image then the third one is the violet door copy and then paste okay the fourth one is the pink door let's have the color pink door copy and then paste and so, kung medyo hindi maayos yung size, pwede natin i-increase or palaki yung konti. And then, the last one is the red door. Okay, copy. And then, paste. Okay, so, okay now, we already have the five open doors. So, we have the slide 2, 3, 4, 5, and six okay so ano susunod natin gagawin is uh, maglagay na tayo ng mga questions per open door okay maglagay na tayo ng text box then so dito pwede natin i-type dito yung ating question so this uh, or type your questions inside this sa inyo na kung anong question ang ilalagay niyo anong type of question okay so kaya na kung bahala maglagay na lang ako ng type of questions inside this box okay and then next is let's have insert shape for the answer okay so kaya tayo dito na rectangle and then kaya tayo ng shape may color change sa rin yung color ng shape mas maganda yung red and then yung outline nya is black pwede natin yung weight medyo ay thicken natin pwede yun okay so maglagay na tayo ng text inside this shape so dito natin lalagay yung word na answer Click lang natin itong answer. Mag-a-appear yung answer dito sa baba. So, magawa tayo tayo ng text box. Ayan. So, put. Dito niya itatype yung correct answer. Put the correct answer. Okay. So, please na natin yung size. And then, let's have comic sense again. Ano ang gagawin? Ano bang ang dapat natin gawin para uh, magkaroon? 
para pagkinik natin tong shape na answer, mag-agree ito si um, correct answer. And so, put the correct answer pa lang. So, gawin lang natin is punta tayo sa um, animation. Eh, no. Okay. So, itanay muna natin yung elements natin para mas madali natin silang i-look it. So, punta lang tayo dito sa select and then select paint. So, ito siya. Si text pack 7 ito. Punta natin, i-rename lang natin siya ng correct answer. Correct answer. Okay. And ito naman, i-rename natin into the answer box. So, wala tayo sa animations. So, lagyan mo na rin na yung animation itong si put the correct answer inside. So, kung gusto natin na plug in or plug in or whatever na uh, animation kung gusto nyo, pili lang kayo. Ang ito sa akin is plug in. Ayan. And then, pag naklik mo na yung pag nakapili ka na ng animation, punta ka na sa trigger. And then, on click off, tapos, click natin yung answer box. Para pag-clinic yung answer box, lalabas si correct answer. So, ayan. So, try natin kung gumagana. Slide show muna natin. Okay. Then, let's click answer. So, ayan. Magpapakit na si correct answer. Okay. So, copy-paste na natin po sa ating mga pa so, select lang natin to press your control key and then add this okay and then copy you can, you can press your control C or copy and then paste na natin dito paste sa lahat ng doors and then base okay so okay na meron na tayong mga questions per door okay. so next is um, maglagay na tayo ng actions para pag clinic natin itong mga doors pupunta siya doon sa uh, open door Halimbawa, itong si Queen, pag clinic mo siya, mag-direct siya dito sa slide ng open door na color green. Okay, so, ito lang siya. Dito tayo sa first slide, then click a green door, and then insert action, then click natin itong hyperlink to then kailangan natin kung anong number so since number 2 yung green na door punta tayo sa slide then click slide number 2 ok then ok next is si blue door si blue door ay nasa slide number 3 then click natin yung hyperlink to and then slide number 3 then ok ok Next is si Violet Door. Punta ulit tayo sa Actions. Hyperlink to. And then slide. Slide number 4. Tingnan natin. Okay. And then okay. So next is si Pink Door. Si Pink Door. And then slide number 5. Action. Hyperlink to. And then slide. Slide number 5. And then okay, and last is the green. I for the red door. I put in two slide number six. Then click okay. Then click okay. Okay. So next naman is the sa transitions. Click lang natin yung hanapin natin yung 
door. Saan ba yung door? Okay, doors. Click natin yung doors. Okay, and then apply to all. Okay, tignan natin. Play natin siya. Ang gumagana. Halimbawa, click natin si 3. Paano nga bababalik? So, paano natin siya ipabalik dun sa first slide? So, ang gagawin natin is maglagay tayo na the third icon. So, tap. Meron akong the third icon dito. Then, paste natin dito sa slide. Okay, yan. So, para magkaroon siya ng action, ganun din, tayo sa insert an action hyperlink and then slide number 1. So, yan. Yeah, Tapos natin sa slide number 1. Click OK. And then, okay. So, gagawin na lang natin pa hindi na pa ulit-ulit yung process. I-copy na lang natin yan. And then, paste na natin sa lahat ng slides. Check na natin yung ating output. Okay. For example, I will choose the green or the learner choose the, chooses the green door. The open door. The green door will open. Then, magpapakita dito yung question. Then, click mo lang yung answer para magpapakita dito yung tamang answer. Okay. Pagtapos na dito sa green na door, click ko lang ito para pumalik tayo sa first slide. Si blue door, ganun din. Answer. Then, the third. Okay, violet door. Then, answer. The third. Pink door. Okay, so, answer. Then, the third. And the last one is the red door. Click answer. Okay, so, we're done. So, ganyan lang po uh, kadali gumawa ng isang interactive PowerPoint game. So, if you like this video, please consider subscribing, like, and share. Thank you.